to video or not to video. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2017. One of the things I did at the end of the year, I do at the end of every year, is I take a look at which articles on AskLeo.com have gotten the most attention. I do it both ways. I do it based on the number of people that have visited the articles, that have actually viewed the articles. And this year, I also took a look at the number of comments that were left on an article. Now, I have a post coming up that will actually list which articles those were. I show you the top 10 in each category. But something kind of struck me about the commented on articles that basically leads me to want to ask you a question. So when I take a look at the 10 most commented on articles on Ask Leo last year, six of them, I think it is, are videos. Uh, not unlike this one, the videos that I've been posting to YouTube and, and including in the newsletter and on the site. The question that that leads me to is, well, okay, are the videos valuable? Do they add value or is it the subject matter? To be honest, one of the things I've been considering for 2017 is to actually dial back a little the number of videos that I produce. They're a little bit of work and they kind of divert me from potentially doing other things like writing more articles or whatever. So looking at the fact that these articles are generating so much interest or interaction, it really does lead me to wonder, is that the right thing? Is that what I should be doing? Now, the question that I really have is, is it the video? Is it the format that we're using or is it the subject matter? Doing videos like this, it's not necessarily, it doesn't lend itself to doing how-to videos. You know, how to fix a problem or how to do something in Windows or how to make your Mac do whatever. What it usually ends up being is an opinion piece. Now, in fact, most of these are actually categorized as my blog, specifically so that when I, write, when I say something on video, it really ends up being more of an opinion piece or a discussion of a topic or the implications thereof. So the question is, you know, is it the format? Is it the fact that it's a video that's causing interaction? Or is it the subject matter? Is it the fact that I'm talking about potentially controversial or opinion-based items that people feel they have an opinion that they want to share about as well, which I absolutely love. So my question to you then is this, are these videos valuable? Are they valuable as videos or is it really the subject matter? In other words, would it be just as valuable for me to discuss the same topic matters, but in written form only without me standing here in front of the camera and talking to you? The question is, is it something that I really need to be doing every week? Can it be served in a different way? Can I focus my attention a little bit more broadly than standing here in front of the camera every week? I don't know. That's where you come in. That's where the value comes in. That's where, again, I would love to hear your opinion on exactly what does and what doesn't work. So that's it. That's the today's video. That really is all I'm looking for right now. Like I said, I was literally in the process of rethinking whether or not I should be investing as much in these uh, talk to you videos. Then I did this research and realized that they might be a little bit more valuable than I thought. So love to hear what you think. As always, like I say in every one of these videos, here's a link to this video out on askleo.com. That's where all the commentary happens. I read them all. We keep the trolls out. I'd love to hear your opinion, your thoughts, whatever it is you think about the subject at hand. Until, well, next week, maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Until next video, I'm Leo Notenboom. Remember, stay safe, have fun, and don't forget to back up. Take care.